Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Golden, and welcome back to the Dream Machine, where we're jamming out to some old tunes, or at least I assume they're old. I don't know how old they are, but it's Mr. Morton's taste of music, and anything of Mr. Morton we don't really like, at least at this point. He needs some explaining to do. We have a fucking camera located behind a painting in our room, and we gotta figure out what's going on. What's this paper say? How can we... It's a, okay, a blank paper. Ink pad. Damn, we're just collecting everything, okay. Can we use stamp with ink pad and then stamp the blank paper? What have we done? April 18th, 1974. Also it's 8th, not 18th. We're back in 1974. This, uh, this wall looks a little interesting. I hope, can we turn off the music? Turn counterclockwise? Turn clockwise. It's doing nothing. Damn it, we can't turn the music off. Okay, um, yeah, this wall looks a little suspicious. Looks like a secret door, and there is... It looks like there's something on the wall next to the door. Like, maybe where you would put a code? That's weird. Huh. What the hell does this mean? Wait. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. Aw, oh, come on. Check check the floorboards. Check the floorboards for any any boards we can rip up. Alright. Mr. Morton. The hell? You're not even in here. That's strange. There's no one here. He must be hiding somewhere. Well, I mean we do have a wall. Or a, do a door in the wall. I'm watching this bed just like he was watching ours last night. <laughs> Fucking hell. Does that make us even? No, because he's not even in there. It's not as perverted, what we're doing. There's even more books back here. Yes, yes, yes. These are mostly science fiction. What about these ones? Oh, wait. Dream Journal 1972. Dream Journal 75. Whoa. Moon, wave, sun. What does that mean? Button? There seems to be some kind of button. What the hell? Okay, why do we have missing journals as well? I guess I'll take them all? Maybe... Ah, there's other journals we'll be able to find, huh? Yeah, examine plunger. This seems to have been used on a daily basis since the 1970s. Oh, wait. Maybe this isn't the 1970s, but... But all this shit's just from the 70s. Small book. Dictionary of the Imaginary Places. Symbolism in dreams. Aha! The interpretation of dreams. Aha! I think I think we're getting something here. Mr. Morton's voice is coming from behind this bookshelf. What? I don't hear that. What are you... What? He seems to be reading a lot of books about dreams and sleep studies. Some of these books look like they're over 100 years old. Oh, pick up- oh, there was another book back here. On this shelf, okay. Well, maybe that's gonna help us out. I just- I came over here to look for- For more symbols, because we got symbols on these books. And I feel like that might mean something. Alright, so, I don't fucking understand how to get through this secret door. At least not right now. It, we see this thing on the screen. Which, I assume, is meaning clockwise, counterclockwise. Clockwise, but then there's also this stuff over here. I've been trying that with the handle of the gramophone, and it's not working. It's making a sound, like an error sound, so clearly it has something to do with that. But I'm not able to make it work. Um, so as far as the shelf over here goes, I looked up... I, I, I looked up a walkthrough, because I, I don't know what else... I didn't know... What am I doing? I didn't know what else to do. What I'm supposed to do is examine my paper, look at the date, April 18th, 1974. Apparently this date is different in each playthrough, but what you want to do is find this date in one of the journals. So April 8th, 74. Okay, shouldn't have too far to turn. What the? Excuse me? What? They're not out of, they're out of order. We go to April, but then we jump back to May, what? How does that make any sense? Right, okay. So, 
we're going to want to place the books in order of when the shapes appear in this passage. So we it looks like we've got moon, waves, sun, heart, stars. All right. Moon. Waves. Sun. Heart. Star. Now apparently Mr. Morton's back behind this. Because apparently we could hear him. Even though I literally couldn't hear him. But elevator, huh? Ooh, okay. The sound effects in this game. Not the music, but the sound effects are pretty cool. Whoa. Mr. Morton, this doesn't exactly look legal, whatever the hell this is. What? Okay, I guess, yeah, look through the window. Holy shit. We have to stop. They just found the camera. The police are probably on their way right now. Yeah. There are you fucking asshole. It's eerily empty, even though we just heard someone. Alright. Is he gonna be right next to me? No. Whew, okay. Well, we could try the palm reader, even though I'm sure... No, that's unacceptable. We can't have another Travis incident. Oh, he was the former tenant, right? The previous tenant that we had in our room. Okay. That was hard enough to cover up as it was. These are people with friends and family. Somebody's bound to miss them eventually. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's happening? Okay, enter machine room. This where... No, I refuse to do that. Do what? I should have unplugged you years ago. Is this the dream machine? What the hell? Are you talking to him? Is it? Is it talking to him? Let's... Okay, let's... Let's, uh... <laughs> let's use our proper wording right now. This ends now. Wait. What are you doing? No, stop! Whoa, Mr. Martin? Uh, he appears to be sleeping. Yeah, as... As signified by the Z's coming out of his head. I'm unable to wake him up, though. What happened to him? Is he, is he in an inter eternal slumber? What the hell? Let's take a look at this blueprint. Power supply indicator. Pineal gland simulator. Stimulator. REM state inducer. Holy shit. Melatonin inhibitor. This is extensive. Who? So, Mr. Morton, you've been building this thing and it, it's gotten out of control? What the hell? Looks a little too advanced for me. Uh, okay, well... Yeah, we'll take these devices while we still can. Receiver device. Sender device. Okay, and yeah, examine this panel. Display. Seems to be a power indicator of some kind. Is it low on power? Six of the lights are lit up, but I don't know what that signifies. Yeah, might not mean low on power at all. Oh. Holy... Wait, are we about to enter Mr. Borton's brain? His dreams? It seems to have triggered something. But what? It's blurry, but I think I'm seeing... What was that? Well, okay. Okay! Oh, I want to. Oh, it hurts, though. the fuck? Whoa. Mr. Morton's dreamscape is nice. Where am I? What is this place? Mr. Morton, are you in here? I guess he must be. Yeah, let's just enter the portal. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Bloodstain. Looks like a bloody handprint. Oh, grand, grand, grand. That's just what we want to see. Why is there three portals here? Okay. We might come back for you guys. It's a large stone statue of some kind. It bears a slight resemblance to Mr. Morton. If you say so, sir. 
Uh, okay. I guess there's nowhere else to go. So, back through one of the portals. That one, I suppose. What the hell? What's this one resemble, though? X, X, X. X, X, X. Sorry, sorry did, did you just say something? X, X, X. Yes, of course. Greek. I, I don't understand Greek, though. I can't understand what you're trying to tell me. What is this place? Yeah, 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 sure. I guess it must be broken somehow. Can we walk up these stairs? Skull cavity. What the hell? Okay, this is another screenshot I've seen from the game. Not sure what it's supposed to mean, though. It's the remains of someone long since gone. What if, this is, what if these are remains of Travis or something like that? From the looks of these tools, he used to be a blacksmith while he was still alive. Alright, let's... Yeah, let's just carry an anvil around, right. Can we... Use the hammer on the skeleton? Yeah, guess not. Can we combine these two? Nope, okay. Well... Rest in peace, sir. I'm sorry you had to die in this forsaken realm. Whatever this dreamscape is. Shit, we're back here now. Uh, we haven't tried this one yet, have we? Aha! When, what are you? Can you actually talk to me? Please. Hello? Who are you? Actually, I was going to ask you the same thing. My name is Victor Neff, sir. Sorry, what's that? I said my name is Victor Neff. Oh, can we understand him? But he can't understand that. I can't hear a word you're saying. I'm sorry. Wait a second. A stirrup? What? Why are we collecting all these things? And can I murder the statue? Nope. What the hell? Use the anvil with the ground. Wait a second. Okay. Now can we use the stirrup? Nope. How about the hammer? If only I had something to hit. Oh, wait a second. I never grabbed those glasses. Okay, now you're just staring off into the sunset as you... Oh, wait a open hatch? What the hell is in here? Strum rod. Oh, uh, do I have to... That didn't sound right. Oh, can I take this and bang it back into place? Okay. Examine broken rod. The rod is bent, but it can be bent back with my bare hands. Well, that's why we need an anvil. So, we'll use a hammer. There we go. Pick up broken rod. What do you mean broken rod? It's... Can I pick up the broken rod? There we go. It ain't broken anymore. Oh, shit. Wait, there's another hatch on this one. Are there hatches on all of them that I've missed? What? There's a chalk line drawing on the back of the wall, and there's hexagons on the floor. It vaguely resembles an eye. Yeah, I press plates. What the hell? What? I really don't know what's going on. I'd like some explaining, please. Examine ear. Okay, is it ear its ha own hatch? Rocks. There's a bunch of rocks that seem to be blocking the ear canal. Well, there we go. Oh, shit. It's going to be able to hear us now, huh? Right? I would think so. Kind of makes sense. In its own weird way. That feels better. What did you do? I removed some rocks from your ear canal. Sorry, what's that? Your ear canal was clogged. I can hardly hear you. Are you serious? But whatever you did before seems to have made it better. Keep at it. Stir up. Anvil. Hammer. I'm not sure what, what it is about that order. Stir up anvil hammer. Okay. Hey! I can hear again. Thank you, whoever you are. Well, my name is Victor Neff. Uh... I can't thank you enough, young man. What is your name? My name is Victor Neff. But what is this place? It's the subconscious realm of dreams. Okay. Good. My, I'm, I was kind of right on track. My, I mean, m makes sense with the name of the game. My son's dreams 
to be more specific. Oh. Oh, are you Felix's mother? Your son? Yes, Felix Morton. Have you met him? Uh, that perverted freak? I sure have. Uh, yes, I'm trying to find him, but this place is a maze. I wish I could help you with that, but this place shifts a lot. To create a maze inside one's subconscious requires a lot of willpower. If Felix is in here hiding from you, I don't think you're going to be able to find him. I don't think he's hiding. I think he was attacked. In that case, I wish you the best of luck. Wait, how do I find Felix? He's the last in line of Mortons. Get to him last. Good luck, Mr. Neff. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I want to be here. So I can put this rod back in place. There we go. Does that do anything? Are we able to actually talk to him now? Who goes there? Why have you disturbed me in my sleep? My name is Victor Neff, sir. Uh... Yeah, I don't know where I am. You're standing right in front of me. Ha. Ha, but what is this place? It's a shrine. To what? To me? Who are, who are you? I am a symbol. A tribute. And a memory. All at once. Uh, is this place real? Are you real? Am I? What separates a real place from an unreal? That it seems real to your senses? That it feels real when you tread its grounds? In that case, this place is very real. Uh, I'll come back to you once you start making more sense. Well, that didn't give us any fucking information. Thanks, bro. Use rocks with the plates. Can we put rocks on each plate? Now that we have rocks in our at our disposal, I should say. These just have to have to be weighted. Huh. It's a bunch of rocks. But did I put them in a good order? I kind of made an kind of sort of made an eye out of them, sort of. Who goes there? My name is Victor Neff. And why have you disturbed me in my sleep, Victor Neff? I'm sorry, sir. I'm trying to find someone, but I don't know where I am. What is this place? Tell you what. If you do me a favor, I'll give you the answers you seek. What do you want me to do? I can barely see you down there, Victor. My eyes, my eyes are more than they used to be. My eyes are not what they used to be. If you help me to see sharply again, I'll answer your questions. Deal? Deal. I'll be here if you need me. Well, we've got some glasses, sir. Glasses are too small to fit. What? I thought I already tried this. Um, remove left lens. Yeah, I thought maybe we'd be able to put the lenses in. I already tried combining the glasses. Maybe I hit examine glasses. Maybe I was trying to examine the glasses themselves. These glasses are useless now. I'll get rid of them. Get rid of the frame, sure, but not the lens. Okay, so this is the left eye, right? So there we go. That it, that looks a little creepy. That's better, but I still can't see you clearly. Uh, all right, there you go, sir. That yeah, that I don't like how that looks. <laughs> so that's what you look like, Victor. Is that what passes for a hairstyle these days? Ouch. <laughs> I guess so. Things have certainly changed since my day. I mean, what do you have on? Is that a... It looks like a crown. That better not be a damn hairstyle. But thank you for helping me see. So we're in the realm where ideas come from? Yes, among other things. Every person has their own allotted piece of this place. Okay, is this Mr. Morton's allotted piece? But the pieces overlap and every piece is part of a greater whole. The shared unconscious. Now tell me, what do you require of me? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to find a man called Felix Martin. Felix? I've never heard of him. He must have been before my time, or after. I wish there was more I could do for you. I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Good luck. Is that all I get? Are you Sorias, bro? Uh, who are you, really? 
My name was Ainsley Morton. Aha. Was? Yeah, I died quite a while ago, I'm afraid. Wait, what you see in front of you isn't actually me. Then what is it? It's a monument. Uh, have you seen a shifty looking man around here? I'm sleepy. Asleep mostly. I don't see much of anything. Who are you looking for? A guy called Felix Morton. I have reason to believe he is in here somewhere. Felix? What has he done now, the useless prat? You know him? Of course I do. He's my grandson. Aha. I wish he wasn't, but a rotten egg is better than no egg at all. Is it? Is it? You don't like your own grandson? No, he lacks conviction. He'll be the end of it all. There we go, the end of it all. Once once again, what? it's his father's fault, really. Too soft on him, you see? Me, I tried to can cane him any chance I got. You physically abused your grandson? Uh, uh, have you seen your grandson recently? I'm mostly asleep. Yeah, I know. If he walked past here, he had the common courtesy not to wake me up, unlike some people. Also, he doesn't talk to me much anymore. What do you know about him? He was a useless mongrel then, and he's probably just as useless now. Whatever your beef is with young Felix, I suggest you let it rest. Trying to get sensible answers out of that boy is like trying to get... Try, trying to milk a stone. He doesn't owe you money, does he? No, it's not about money. Then you can count your lucky blessings about one thing at least. Okay, you physically abuse your grandson. It builds character. I tried to beat some sense into the boy, but his father was too soft, I tell you. Too damn soft. Now, if you'll excuse me, my eternal sleep is well-deserved and long overdue. No, wait. Is, if, if Felix is in here, how can I find him? The correct order will lead you there. Order of what? That's all you'll get from me. Good luck, Mr. Neff. Do you mean the correct order of the portals? Fucking shit. Oh shit! You can't threaten me with that anymore. I know what I've done. I'm prepared to accept the consequences, but not before I shut you down. You carrying an axe, Mr. Morton? Is this tree supposed to be some extension of the dream machine inside your own brain? I'll cut you out of every dream if I have to. Oh God. T yeah, talk to him. Don't try to save him or anything. Help! Uh, yeah, let's just keep talking to him. Just let him flop around like this. Okay, I'm assuming we can pick up this axe. And my axe. <sighs> I guess we'll save you, man. <laughs> Holy shit. There's a little mouth at the end of the tentacle. Oh, God. It's lined with hooked teeth. Yeah, okay then. Uh, hey, Mr. Morton. Hello again, Mr. Neff. I guess you're wondering where you are. What is this place? Where the fuck am I? You're standing in the dreamscape, Mr. Neff. So I had the exact words right. Aha, uh -huh. cool. The living, breathing amalgamation of billions of sleeping minds, each adding their own distinct piece to the puzzle. All connected, belonging to the same world. Uh, how did I get here? Each sleeping mind is an entryway to a different part of the dreamscape. Okay. By using the helmets, you projected your consciousness into my sleeping mind. That's how you ended up here. Uh, I'm inside a dream? You're in my dream, as a matter of fact. That's what I had figured. It doesn't always look like this. It changes slightly each night. But this is where I come when I dream. What's the purpose of the large machine in the basement? It synchronizes the brainwaves of two connected minds, making it possible to project an awake mind into a sleeping one, as you are doing right now. So we're actually awake, huh? We're not sleeping as well? Huh, okay. Did you build it? Only parts of it. My family has been trying to chart the dreamscape for the past four generations. My great-grandfather first posted the idea, posited the idea, that we all visit a collective unconscious in our sleep. 
He wanted to explore it to see if it had a coherent geography. Does it? Yes, but it is ever changing, ever evolving. As people die, we lose parts of it. As new people are born, new areas appear. It's roughly disc shaped. As you're born, you appear in the center, moving outward as you age. Okay, eventually reaching the thin, crumbling edge as your life comes to an end. How does a machine like that work? To be honest, I don't. God damn it. I. S I'm simply. I'm going up to itch my face and that. Okay. I promise I won't hit the mic for a phone from here on out. <laughs> to be honest, I don't fully understand it myself. My great grandfather built the first prototype. It was crude, barely providing a keyhole's peek into the sleeping mind. My grandfather improved the design by synchronizing the brainwaves of the connected minds. My father and I added parts here and there, mainly increasing performance and stability. So your family's been building this thing for four generations? I was raised from an early age to continue my family's work. My father instructed me how to operate the machine. Occasionally, he brought me along with him into the dreamscape. Can you imagine what that was like for a child? Having people's dreams to play in. And now you look kind of old. Not super old, necessarily, but... Who were you talking to before? I was talking to the machine itself. It has organic parts and has, after decades of refinement, reached some degree of awareness. I've learned to communicate with it after all these years. A talking machine, that is creepy and the end of us all. It's not really talking. It's more like a whisper in the back of your mind. Okay, what's what, what attacked you in the basement? It was the machine, yeah, obviously. Recently, we've had differing opinions on how to proceed. A situation that cum cum culminated once you discovered my camera, Mr. Neff. Hey, yeah, speaking of that fucking camera. What was the argument about? Lately, our operation has been getting harder and harder to keep under wraps. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't keep it under wraps at all. Then again, this this is very intriguing. Can I blame you? Can I blame you? This is this is four generations of work, and it's really cool. I wanted to put it on hold while I sorted things out, but the machine wouldn't let me. I was trying to shut it down, but it attacked me. Awareness and self-preservation go hand in hand, unfortunately. I wish I could explain all this at greater length, but I'm fading. Are you dying? I'm afraid I won't be with you much longer. Dreams can't hurt you, can they? Dreams can alter your perception of reality. They can change your life, and they certainly can hurt you. People die in their sleep all the time. And, and that's fully because of dreams, huh? What was that tentacle thing that grabbed you right now? The tentacles are the roots of the machine. An extension of it, if you will. That's what I thought. The machine resides in both dreams and reality at once. What a fucking scary thought. The thing you saw in the basement is but half of it. The roots reside here and draw power from the dreamscape. I thought dreams were all just about wish fulfillment, not an actual place. You're not alone in thinking that. Frude, for instance, was the originator of the particular of the idea. I idea. But as you can see around you, you're both quite wrong. I'm, I'm feeling weak. But before I leave you, there's something I have to ask you. If you could do it, if I could do it myself, I would, but I don't have long. I need you to shut the machine down once and for all. Aha! Aha! I see where this is going. Shit. The rest of this game is a mission to f shut this shit down. How, how do I do that? By cutting off its power supply, you daft cunt. It's that simple. The tentacle you saw? That was one of its roots. That's how it draws power from the dreamscape. But I've already chopped it off. Oh, don't worry, Victor. There's millions around here. There's more. Yeah. By now, the tentacles have spread to the others in the estate. Oh, we gotta inhabit our neighbor's brains? You must enter their dreams, just like you entered mine, 
and make sure it can't draw power there anymore. Why can't I just smash the machine itself? The machine is more than just the clunky thing in the basement. It would be like getting rid of a tick without removing the head. Once all dreams are purged, the machine will shut down properly. Will you grant me this, my dying wish? Well, one part of me thinks that uh, you could have just let us all in on this and not have been an asshole and kept everything on the down low and had a camera in our fucking room. But the other part of me admits that this is cool. Intriguing. Interesting. I want to learn more about all of these dreams and how they're interconnected. I mean, we kind of just already learned all of that. But I want to go on this mission to destroy this thing. So, yes. Uh, holy options. What's in it for me? I think we'll cut our losses and run. Does the machine really have to be switched off? The machine must be stopped at any cost. I will do it, but only to save the ones I care about. I don't trust anything you say. <sighs> What's in it for me? Your wife has been infected as well, since I visited her dreams last night. Yeah, I'd like to learn about her dreams. She never told me, and she didn't have fun. She didn't have fun. Then I will purge her dream and get the hell out of her. That was an interesting sentence. I'm afraid that would only postpone her decrepitude. The machine, if left unstopped, will eventually reestablish in your wife's dream. I'll take my chances. I hope you reconsider. I'm the last in line of the Mortons. With me, my family perishes. What are you going to tell the world about us once we're gone? <sighs> yeah. I'm not sure that the world is ready to hear about this. You're right to question my family's motives. I've had doubts myself ever since my adolescent years. But what we did was for the benefit of mankind. That's, just, that's what any kind of villain can say. You've given me a lot to think about. Oh, yeah. I, my mind is racing. I won't pass judgment until I fully understand what you've done. Thank you, Mr. Neff. I'll rest easier knowing that. This is where I must leave you, I'm afraid. I wish I had more time to set this straight, but you don't get to choose these things. I'm afraid not. Goodbye, Mr. Neff. Goodbye, Mr. Morton. And his eyes are shut. Whoa, okay. I get yeah, I guess we're just getting ripped out of his dream, right? Because he died. At least I think he died. Are we safe and sound in the real world? Or is that... That might be the end. Okay, now we're back. We back. Oh god, we just basically watched him die. I heard I heard him make a noise and then his like hands flopped to the ground. That was All right, let's remove this. And let's remove that. Mr. Morton has passed away. He died trying to shut the machine down. Are we just going to let him rot here? What if we take another look? I think it indicates how many dreams the machine's draining power from. Oh. Okay, it looks like there's five tentacles supplying power to the machine. Okay. So that would be my wife. My neighbor. We have two other neighbors, don't we? Right? And myself? Huh. Two hours later. Alright, so <laughs> the game crashed. And then I also found out, holy shit, I wasn't recording the webcam. I, my track record with recordings lately is terrible. Holy shit. Anyway, now you can see my ugly face, my ugly mug. Um, so I think we're gonna, gonna, need, gonna need to get rid of these. And all I can think of is like to use the ink pad with Mr. Morton. Because maybe with... Yeah, with his hand, I smeared the ink on his palm. Now we can use the paper, maybe? I've gotten the palm print. What do you know? There we go, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Okay, let's use the hand print there. Even though I feel like that wouldn't make any sense, really, but let's come on in. 
So he has cameras to... Ooh, the noise. Uh, he has cameras to every room in this es estate, I'm guessing. Examine monitor. Someone's living room. It might belong to someone on the third floor. Somebody's bedroom. A little creepy. This camera monitors someone's living room. Third floor once again. This camera overlooks somebody's dining room. If I'm not mistaken, this is our next door neighbor's bridge party. Oh, yeah. Now this looks like our bed, I want to say. That's our bedroom. Mr. Martin watched us when we slept last night. I feel uncomfortable looking at this. Yeah. Very creepy. Someone's hallway. Judging by the old photos on the walls, it might be Edie's. This camera overlooks the lobby. Mr. Morton probably monitored the coming in and going out of the tenants. The monitor is still on his lunch break, apparent. The mover is still on his lunch break, apparently. Yeah, that prick mover. This hallway looks like ours, except it's mirrored and has more furniture. It might belong to somebody on the top floor. The slanted windows suggest that this room is on the top floor. There's a guy in the wheelchair looking through a telescope. Hmm. Gas. Remote control. Uh. Oh, shit. Okay, you can change all the different inputs, huh? Is that Alicia in our hallway? It is. I can see her her on the phone and the boxes there on the floor. That means she's got he's got more cameras rigged in our apartment. This is just beyond creepy. It really is. What the? Alicia? Oh no. What happened to her? Um. Oh, fuck. I so want to hit this gas button, but at the same time, I know I probably shouldn't. Nothing happened. Okay. Maybe that's good. Is that sleep gas? Is that what that's supposed to be? Thomas Morton, yeah, he's dead. Fucking, I don't, I don't need to use the telephone for shit. Strange device. Okay, hurry up, cause we need to get back up to our, to our girl. Indicator. This seems to be an indicator of some kind. The needle seems to indicate that the machine is empty. Why is there nine whole settings? What the? Right. Slot. Slot seems to be designed to hold a cylindrical object of some kind. And a funnel. There's a powdery residue on the inside of the funnel. Is it cocaine? Huh. I don't think I can use this kind of stuff. Okay. Any more important books? No. What about the trash cane? It contains the remains of burned papers, mostly. Looks like Mr. Morton was trying to destroy evidence before he died. Most of it is completely destroyed, but this little piece seems readable. Oh! More messes constructing? New safe code. Oh. Um. I still don't really understand this. Damn, we got some tough hands. Some dry hands. Okay. Alright, anything else? Oh, the safe. Oh. Is this the safe we're looking for? Seems to be a key inside the safe. Aha. Okay, so either I'm fucking dumb or this puzzle is just too smart, too clever for me. But apparently these coincide with the monitors that we've got going on. So we're supposed to, like, match the shaded area that's here with the monitors. The bottom six, apparently. So top left, top right, bottom left, bottom left, bottom right, top left. Okay, maybe that's it. 169931. 169931. 169931. Seems we unlocked the safe. There we go. Master key. Okay, now we can finally get out of the basement, maybe. I didn't examine this map yet either. I just noticed this. Whoa. Alicia Neff. Mr. Morton visited her dream last night as we slept. Whoa! Is this a map? Of the dreamscape? Holy shit! Mr. Morton's family has been trying to chart it for generations. That's probably why the map has been modified so much. He said we were born somewhere in the center and move 
outward as we age. Damn. Oh, that's why Edie's like way out there. Holy. What's this? This piece is blank. Except for a big question mark. I guess this area hasn't been charted yet. Yeah, because you're probably so young at the center, right? Damn. Okay. Well, we've we've spent too much time. Am I getting stuck on the safe? Can I leave? What the? Oh, there we go. Leave room. We spent too much time lollygagging around here. It's time to go check on Alicia, goddammit. I think we're on the second floor. Ah, uh, wifey. I hope you're all right. I'm, she's probably not, she, well, she's probably just sleeping as well, I suppose. Kind of looks like the same shit happened to her as happened to Mr. Morton. Yep. ZZ. Oh, Alicia. She seems to have fallen asleep just like Mr. Morton did. I'm unable to wake her. Uh, I think... I think that means there's just... One thing we can do. You can receive. And I shall send... Oh, wait. Shit. No, it's the other way around, actually. Send. Yep. You shall send. I will receive. I'm sorry about this, Alicia. I feel weird about peeping in, around inside your dream, but I don't see any other way to help you right now. Other than call the police. Did it take her that long to call the police? That she never actually did? I'll see you on the other side. As will we. I bet. Holy f The sound effects in this game are pretty good. Pretty creforpy. Creepy? Not crappy. Creepy. That would be creepy. Okay, I think, yeah. So we got the credits, credits, but that's just the end of chapter two. Okay. So there are six chapters to this game. I think you get chapter one and two with the main purchase, which is what I did way back when. And I think I'm gonna purchase the rest of these chapters because I like where this is going. Very interesting and very cool concept that we get to map out the dreamscape and take down this dream machine once and for all. Stop the tyranny. Contributors, okay. This this game took a while to make as well. It took years. 2010 to 2017, the sleeping machine. I can't remember. Maybe the last chapter came out in 2017. But I thought it was a little later than that. To be continued. Thanks for playing the second chapter of our game. We hope you liked it. What happens next? If you enjoyed chapter two, you'll be happy to hear that the entire third chapter is available to play. And actually, they all are. Select one of the options below to find out more. Sweet. Hmm. Looking interesting. We'll be on a ship and we'll meet some kind of clam queen or something. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to continue this game. Because I like where it's going. Um... There, I I do have a couple of gripes, or just one maybe now. Um, last last episode was the volume. This episode, it's that some of the puzzles weren't very clear. I guess you could say, like with that piece of paper towards the end there that had the 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 uh, squares, the rectangles, and it had like a shaded corner. I had no idea that was supposed to correlate with the monitors. Um, and maybe you could find that out eventually if you're not trying to commentate over a game. So, I mean, yeah, I guess we'll just see how the rest of these puzzles go. Maybe I'm just, oh, shit, there goes my phone. My phone timer going off, reminding me that it's time to go. So good thing I'm finishing up here. Anyway, um. Maybe I'm also just stupid. I don't know. It's hard to say sometimes when it comes to puzzles. If I'm just being dumb or if I need to pay more attention or what's going on. Um, it was just a minor annoyance that I couldn't figure that out and I had to look it up. But anyway, I'm liking this. I'm enjoying this. I hope you are too. So stick around if you want to see more of these episodes. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for The Dream Machine Chapter 3 and the rest of the chapters in the future. 
and I hope to see you in the next video.